Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Shelby, aka Miss Botanica, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what to get your planty partner for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I have a lot more ideas than just what's on the table. I just took out all my heart-shaped things because I felt like that was needed, and plus my pink plants, not all of them look the best right now, so I don't wanna showcase those. But we'll start with something simple, something you can find very cheap. Like, you could probably honestly get cuttings or a plant for a dollar to three. All of these I got below seven dollars, we'll say, because there's a tag on this one. That says six ninety nine. Um, but the only reason why I paid that was because I could not find it anywhere else. Anyway, number one on my list is regular string of hearts, Sarah, Pegi eye, woody eye, but this is an easygoing plant. Water when dry, the hearts, they get little wrinkles in them when they're thirsty, so it's very noticeable. I have mine in a very airy mix, and I also just threw the plug in here from another pot, and I haven't backfilled yet, so it looks a little iffy right now, but it's, it's taking over, and it's growing, and it's doing its thing. That's all that matters. It's a very easygoing plant, so your plant partner or your non-planty partner might actually enjoy this. The whole reason why we're talking about getting plants instead of flowers is because flowers die and they get dried and ugly. And unless your partner knows how to preserve them, wants to preserve them, and can preserve them, and that there's you're just wasting your money. You're spending dollars on flowers that are just going to end up in the trash when you got to have a plant on a shelf. That sounds so much better. Next on my list is my. Uh, Silver Glory, as you can see, she's very long. I got her when she was this big. Yeah, I spent $6 on that, but it's okay because she's a very fast grower and I probably should take cuttings of her. But same thing goes with the regular string of hearts and her. Water when it's wrinkly and it's very noticeable when it's wrinkly. Actually, you'd be surprised. All of these are watered recently, so they don't have any wrinkles. I have dead leaves in my variegated one, but that's about it. Um, that brings me to my next one. This is my variegated string of hearts that is also a knotted mess. If you don't like knotted plants, don't get these, but if you don't really care, you can get these. But she's a cutie, and I love her, and when she's sun-stressed, she's got like pink hues to her. Right now she actually does because I have her like directly underneath a grow light. So I will show you guys what those look like. And she's got lots of tubers, so I can take lots of cuttings of her. Next on my list is Hoya Carii. Now, be forewarned, if you go to the store and get just a heart if it doesn't have a note attached to it, it might not grow. It's a slim to likely chance that it'll grow into a full plant, but I'm not saying it's not possible. But just make sure if you go, you get plants that have nodes or you get one that's already established or at least sticking out like this. If it's sticking out like this, then you know that it has a chance because you have this lovely node growing. And that is that. These are super cute. These are also easy to care for. I've not had this for long. I've had this for maybe a day. <laughs> since recording this video. Most Toyas are very easy going. When the leaves get like papery thin and flexible or crinkly, you wanna water. And when they're hard like this, do not bend it. You'll snap it because they're very hard plants. Okay, next we're gonna insert some footage of other pink plants. For example, Stromanthi Trio Star. That is a very pink plant. That plant is not easy going, I wouldn't say. They require a lot of water, humidity, and can sometimes be picky with tap water, so that's that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. The next one is Tritoscantia nanook, or bubblegum Tritoscantia. That, it has multiple names, but it's an easy going plant. I have not killed the one that I've had for over, I wanna say two years. I got it for my mom when her friend died of breast cancer, sad moment, but it's still going strong. And yeah, I would say, again, it needs humidity. It does not like tap water all that often. And yeah, she's not happy because I repotted her in the wrong mix, so she's struggling right now. So I probably will end up repotting her at some point in time and putting her in a new mix. Let's see, what else? What other pink, plenty plants can I think of? Ooh, 
Pink Princess, and they are actually going for relatively cheap now. A local perch had nice six inches for a dollar, so they're going down in a lot of price, and they're pretty cool. They're pretty snazzy. They like higher humidity sometimes. It depends on your environment. It depends on how often you water them. In my experience, mine likes higher humidity to push out those new leaves. Strawberry begonia. I have a variegated strawberry begonia. She's tiny, so I'll have to insert footage of other plants. Some of these plants might not even be my plants, just full disclosure. Um, she's a thirsty Very thirsty. Oh, <laughs> she's the thirsty girl. Editor Michael got mad at me because I cursed. Oh well. She's cute. And she's a plant that once she gets bigger, she can put out more shoots and you can gift it to your friends. So that's very cool. What's another one? What do you have? Nerf plant? Oh, I'll have two different ones. We'll have the polka dot plant that's pink. They come in dark pink, light pink, white, and I think that's about it for colors. And then nerf plants. I've seen them again in white, dark pink, and light pink. They require a lot of water. From my experience, polka dot plants get very laggy very, very fast, and if you're not willing to keep up with the cuttings, it's a lot. And then nerf plant, they tell you when they want water by literally looking like they're dead. Any other ideas? No? I have a couple. You can get different um, begonias, because begonias are pink. Most of them are pink. There's an amphioxus. I'll insert that. It has pink polka dots. That's cool. I don't know any care ideas on that, other than humidity and watering. <laughs> you have to water it a lot. Syngonium. There's different pink syngoniums. I'll have Michael insert a bunch of pictures of a bunch of different pink syngoniums. I have a couple syngoniums, actually. I think I have three, four different types of syngoniums. I don't really know. But I know that their care is very easy going. Again, they tell you when they're thirsty, they fall down, and then they get back up when they're happy again. That is our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. Sorry to editor Michael for having to edit all of these pictures in and all this nonsense in, but I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you over on Instagram.